Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with my um, layout share of layouts done this past week. Uh, finishing up my um, kit for How to Kill a Kit with Style that's all Vicki Booten based and I probably will do a share of the entire uh, set of uh, 50 some odd layouts that I did through the month of June with the Rediscover Your Stash um, uh, spending freeze where I was shooting for 60 and I got 48, I think. Uh, but I continued until I got down to my very last 12 by 12 sheet of paper and down to some scraps. And then I switched kits and I revealed that a couple days ago, um, or yesterday, I think. Um, this, uh, I, I'm, I'm going to do all the Vicki Booten based, all the, the, those on my Scrappy Kathy, uh, um, Facebook page. Um, and, and that, that'll probably be the only place that I'll actually have the photos of all of those together. So let's, without further ado, uh, this one was done um, on the 30th of June. It's uh, one of the last ones I did on that last day of June. And it's, there's no video for it. This was one of my kind of troublesome um, uh, 12 by 12 papers in, the, in one of the paper pads. And I, I, the, the colors just kind of threw me off a little bit. Uh, I had a small scrap of this pink. I cut it into two and, and added some at the top and some at the bottom of this. Um, I think it's not a six by eight pad. I think in those days the pads were maybe nine by or uh, eight by 10. Um, I should measure, but I don't have anything handy. Anyway, there are, there are a mix of kits. This is from a different kit than this is, and all of those are different from this one. This embellishment and these stickers and this arrow and possibly this paper are from um, uh, Let's Wander. And the page is about, um, I did it for a challenge that uh, Christy, Christy's Beautiful Life put out on the, um, uh, the Secret Not Secret Kit Club um, party where she had a, a mood board, if you will, of a picture of four colorful boat drinks, you know, colorful drinks. And we had, when we went to Florida, we had a drink called the Jenny Hendrix. And I didn't get any pictures of the drink. It had, it's, um, a gin-based uh, lemons and limes kind of drink with um, a sprig of thyme and some blueberries, and it was absolutely amazing. So I went online and got some photos of it from the restaurant's website and took a picture of the black and red fish with crawfish on, on top. It was absolutely an amazing meal, and we were very distant. You could probably see in the photograph, we were very distant from any other customers, and they were keeping it that way. Uh, they weren't maintain having any lines and great hygiene. The um, menu was scannable from your phone, and then you had a, a PDF file in your phone that you ordered, and the, the server stood six feet away and with a mask on so that you could you know tell her what you wanted and then uh, masked and gloved folks came out and and served so w we felt you know pretty safe so that um story is documented on the grid paper and i just used you know trying to kill um uh, sticker sheets and so forth. I think this this has been floating around in my craft room on the floor, on the table, stuck to the tablecloth, etc. It's a chipboard um, fountain pen from Heidi Swap, and I thought it might fit, you know, with the journaling. So enough about that page. I, I go into a little more explanation in my layout chairs 
on pages that I didn't make a video of. And here's another one I didn't make a video. This was for a challenge to do a page that was uh, inspired by quilting. And so I cut some squares of the Vicki Booten papers I had, used this background. I fussy cut these flowers from a, a, a paper in the same collection as this one and, and used that there. Some stickers from, I don't know, field notes maybe. Uh, added this uh, to this so it kind of looks like it's part of the, the paper. Um, this is a, a picture of one of those signs. I printed it large and fussy cut it to go above this photo of us in the pool. And as you can see, no one else was in the pool there at Margaritaville. I cut some acrylic or acetate uh, that was that's embossed with gold feathers. And I made that part of the quilt design and then this little thing. That's as close as I'm gonna get to a quilt and I did fake stitching. I don't uh, do quilting and the generally the patterns that are inspired by quilting aren't ones that I, I tend to collect. So anyway, this was um, a, a fun one to do and it came together really quickly. Uh, this one is done, was done for, um, it was, it was my, let's see, Rediscover Your Stash number 50, my How to Kill a Kit with Style Kit. Don't, don't think that's tr uh, true. Ah, yes, I was trying to do 60 and I did 50. Let's see, this is number, uh, that doesn't tell me, that doesn't tell me. Anyway, I think I did over 50. Uh, where this goes back over here. Okay, I'll have to glue that down. Anyway, this was pre-made um, uh, Vicki Booten Mixed Media. I used the feather acetate on both the gold side and the silver side, added some uh, jewel embellishments from Let's Wander, um, cute picture of Reese superimposed over what was a seed packet, and then um, a three by four card, just a scrap that was the bottom of a tag. Um, Nothing particularly special about this. It's just that we uh, took a picture of Reese to celebrate seeing her after a few days away. Uh, this is a Dad's Day uh, layout. I did a video on this one. It was based on this um, heavily layered gr um, block. It was off the board, my very first off the board uh, video for the month of July where I'm doing a video every day. I just layered it up with each square uh, of the grid up with lots and lots of things from the uh, Vicki Booten embellishments that I have had in my How to Kill a Kit with Style kit. Uh, this one is probably one of my favorite layouts ever. I took the green and white striped um, mixed media paper and laid a plate over it and cut a circle. Uh, I, I hand cut the circle and then distressed the, uh, the edges just a little bit. Um, did some doodling around it. Uh, I used um, a palm tree stencil and stenciled it with clear gesso uh, that I thought would resist some of the other color, and it did, but it's not discernible as a palm tree. I did some others with uh, music notes, and you can kind of see a little bit of that in this uh, resist, and there's some here and, and here and some down here. I used a texty stencil there and layered it up again with kind of travel themed goodies and I wanted the colors of all these pretty birds. They're standing in front of a giant flip-flop, blew off my flip-flop, stepped on a pop top, <laughs> had to cruise on back home from Changes in Latitude, a Jimmy Buffett song. 
I put an orange slice there from my um, citrus fruits stash for Calvin Ball back in March. So I pulled all the stops out, had some, uh, some ribbon there to uh, mimic the ribbon. This was a Mercy Tierra um, original that I lifted and, and I just love it. This one was done for Freeze Friday, or, or excuse me, Mixed Media Frenzy, which occurs on Freeze Friday. And I usually do videos for both of those on those dates. I used these kind of uh, water drops, glass drops that, that look like water. I did many processes, which you can see in the, the video. There's doodling and stamping and uh, metal stuff and glass stuff and uh, acrylic letters from Bramble Fox thread. It's a, um, a true frenzy. This was the layout I was lifting and I probably wanna do a more uh, truer lift of that one of these days. This one was just a um, uh, an off the board. It was day four of off the board. And this was the original, and I love these little um, uh, things that look like curtains, and she's making her debut in kindergarten, and I, I love that part of the story. That's not what my photo was about, so I didn't do the curtains, but one day I, I want to. I took a photo of a an unfinished canvas that has several different colors of purple and blue uh, acrylic paint kind of dry brushed onto it. And I printed the photo at very, very large. I blew it up so that you would see a lot of the detail of the dry brush. And I used that to mat my photo and also to um, stamp and die cut these butterflies. And I found an ink that matched and I had some uh, Bramble Fox stars that matched that color scheme. So there's the craft and the kind of watercolory ledger paper on the, the um, and this that looks like uh, white texty stenciling. And all of that's actually printed on the background paper as it came from the Field Notes collection of Vicki Booten. And then I printed my photo, uh, typed, uh, printed my journaling directly onto the photo and, uh, and stamped this, which is my title, and I stamped this in joy. So it was a fairly simple layout to do, and I, I love it. The, I ran this through a filter, it was a color photo. I ran it through a filter um, and that shows the only other person who was at the pool and he was leaving after having taken a shower at the little shower stand, which is a surfboard, which is kind of cute. And um, I just ran it through the Heisenberg filter on my um, Prisma app. And Heisenberg, as you, if you, like I, are are huge fans of Breaking Bad. It's the name that the main character gave to himself when he was in the, um, the meth business. So sounds a really good, wholesome family show, right? Anyway, it, it turned it into black and white and made it look like it was a sketch drawing of th these are little cottages and we stayed in one of these cottages kind of way at the at the back behind the hotel proper. Anyway, enough about that. This one is my last official one from that How to Kill a Kit with Style kit, and I love this paper, and this is the other side of the paper, and I'm down to very small scraps of that left. I uh, punched these um, clouds out of a pre-made mixed media six by eight pad. I have some sequins. This one, actually, I see it. You know, you know, every time I do a layout share, I see something I have to re-glue. And this sticker did not um, hold onto its foam background, so 
put that back down. These, some of these that were in the sticker book that are really thin have a little trouble sticking, so I kind of have to help them out every now and then. Then I used a cut file from Creative Cuts. I took a tag and, and did scallops there to kind of mimic the scallops that were in the, um, in the photo. My, my atomic uh, symbol here was cut in half and I kind of uh, uh, covered over it to make it look something like a, um, uh, oh, let's say an abstract cloud. <laughs> so anyway, that's my, that's the end of my Vicki Booten based How to Kill a Kit with Style. Uh, tomorrow I will be uh, debuting my first layout from the um, Paige Evans based How to Kill a Kit with Style kit. And I'll be using that How to Kill a Kit with Style kit that's Paige Evans based, alternating it with my For the Love of Homemade Kits kit which is much more miscellaneous based. It has a variety of um, scraps and leftovers. So I'll be um, revealing that kit today. And the first layout from Paige Evans will be tomorrow. The first layout from that kit will actually be uh, Tuesday. So I'll, I'll always let you know which kit I'm working from. And I'm gonna kinda, like I said, I'm gonna kinda alternate between those Two. I think I have a little star that came off of one of my early layouts. It did. And I'll have to go back and glue that. I'll do that off camera. Thank you for watching and thank you for all your support and your comments and your um, um, eh, kind words about the, the work that I do. The fun that I have with paper. So, <laughs> part hard to call it work when it's this much fun, right? So I'll see you next week for my Freeze Friday reveal. That'll be, uh, th this is gonna, I'm gonna put this out under the Freeze Friday label, even though it's Sunday. Next week, I'll probably try to keep it to Friday and, and cover all, it'll cover all of my layouts that I do for Off the Board, which will have videos. And then there will be several kind of kit-based layouts that are done for the challenges at uh, Mercy Tierra's inspiration, uh, the, the summer inspiration that goes through July and through August. And um, be sure to check out uh, Mercy Tierra's 20 day, 27 day scrappy challenge for details on that. There are albums out there for all of those. There are sketch based challenges and, and uh, mood board based challenges. It's a, whatever kind of floats your boat. I'll also be doing Scrap Squad Sunday, challenge accepted and um, a mixed media frenzy. And I'll be doing CSI. I'll try to do all three of those. And, and I may or may not video some of those. Um, and I will be doing, uh, probably in the next couple days, I'll be doing one for um, Craft Plus Community, which this month is based on Shakespeare. So we'll see. And some a few miscellaneous, stuff. oh, and next weekend I'll be doing from Friday through Sunday, I'll be doing 19 challenges at um, Mind the Scraps um, Cybercrop, and I'll probably film at least one of those for um, my off the board, you know, for the next day, and I'll um, I'll have. For that, I'm using all uh, previous and current, you know, if my new July uh, minus scrap kit comes in the mail before Friday, I'll be using it along with the last three months worth of minus scrap kits that I have some scraps of. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.